Jessica from Great Day on the Water Guide Service here and welcome to this episode of Fishing and Hunting the North Country. Uh, we are heading out on a very large 133,000 acre natural lake uh, today. It sounds like we're going to have a little breeze in the morning and then it's going to let up a little bit later. We're going to head out about six, seven miles and we're going to be chasing walleyes out on some deep uh, main lake mud flats. We're going to be using live bait rigs um, or the Lindy rig it's called. We're going to be trying to use leeches and minnows. Um, and we'll talk about all of those techniques uh, and all the things we're doing when we're out there. But right now we're going to get the boat in the, in the water here and get going. Trish Michael, Great Day on the Water Guide Service. We are on Lake Mille Lacs in central Minnesota out on the mud, one of the mud flats. Uh, started out pretty windy this morning. Now it's lightened up a little bit. And we're fetching walleyes. Uh, nice 17 and a half, 18 inch here there through the rig here in a little bit. But, uh, nice fish all catch and release on Mille Lacs this year so we'll get that fish back in the water. Alright we're using a live bait rig aka a Lindy rig. Um, we tried leeches and minnows and leeches are what's working the best today. I need a new one here this one's torn up but uh Large to jumbo size leech. Um, I've got a uh, thing to hold of everything here. We're using long snells today. I've got a red hook with a white rattle bead at the point of attack there. A bead is a little float and has a little rattle inside it. Um, and using a uh, eight pound test fluorocarbon uh, vanish fluorocarbon leader and then up at the business end uh, we were fine lindy rig sinkers there's all different kinds of sinkers you can use for live bait rigs we're actually using i'm using a three quarter ounce here we're fishing about 34 35 feet of water but i'm actually uh, a little line out here uh, using a uh, bottom bouncer a uh, slip style bottom bouncer just a single not a safety pin style but just a single wire strand with the lead on there and i've got that on a little um, clevis a little plastic quick change clevis that slides on the line and then i've got uh, like you'd use for slip bobber fishing a uh, bead and a knot so i can slide that as far away from a swivel that attaches to the vanish free tied snell um, the snell is six feet and I've got this slid out about another three so I'm fishing with a nine foot long snell today clear water want to get that bait back away from all the lead and just let that leech swim as we just slowly move around so um, that's the rig that's been catching the fish I've got a red hook with a white bead my dad has a uh, gold hook with a green bead uh, so far that's been catching the fish uh, so we'll keep working with that and back when we get some more all right, my dad Nate's got one on here. It might depend on how big this one is. I might have to turn the camera off and go for the net here. Yeah, I think I will go for the net. I'll be back. We did net that fish just to be safe. Nice walleye there, hooked right out in the corner of the mouth, right where you want him. The hook is right by your thumb. So, oh, probably a 17, 18 inch here there. We'll get him back and we'll go get some more. Hey there. Got another one here that feels like it's got some shoulders on it. Oh yeah, nice one, real nice one. I'll grab the net gear. We'll definitely dip this one. Go. All 
right in the tip of the snout, right where you want him. All right, we'll get a still picture of that and a measurement and let that one go. Another one here, working that same area along that mud flat. After we get this fish in, I'll show you on the locator where we're fishing. Uh, we'll probably have to stop filming here a second to net. This one, see how big he is and how he's hooked. No, I think I can land this one. Keep filming here. Not a big one. Nice one. Nice fish there. All right, while I get them off, we'll stop the camera there and then uh, I'll show you, I'll come back and show you where we're at on the locator. Okay, so here's where we're catching these fish. Um, this is a mud flat that's in two pieces. There's the main flat and then there's a little bit of deeper water and then you can see here, this flat uh, has another hump off the tip of it that comes up. The red line is my path that I've been taking with the Minkota, so we're just following along the bottom edge of that sharp break. It comes up to about 26 feet up on the top and it drops down to about 34 feet or so on the bottom and we're right at the bottom edge of that about 33 34 feet following that contour along I got us anchored right now but that's where we're catching the fish and uh, it's a main lake mud flat it's kind of a muck peat muck piled up and then we're on the um, main lake basin the floor of the lake right at the bottom edge of it is where we're catching them today hey we got another one here we're still in that same area I showed you on the locator I think we may have to net this one we'll see here yeah I think we'll net this one so we'll we'll be back in a minute all right Uh, pretty typical what we're catching there, 19, 18 incher. So uh, we may make a run here and see if we can find a few bigger ones to get to, but I don't know, it's hard to leave fish when you're catching fish like we are, so we'll get back to it here. We'll be back when we get some more. All right, my dad's got one here, a little male, but still we are knocking them around pretty good. Oh, we got him hooked in the chin. That's why he felt so Yeah, that's why he felt bigger. I think technically that's foul hooked. I think technically that has to go back, but we're releasing everything here on Lake Mille Lacs anyway, so no biggie. All right. Good job. Thumbs up. All right. We'll go get some more. All right. Didn't take long here. We just, yeah, just got that small one in the chin. Now we got a, another one here. This one doesn't feel very big either, but it's a walleye. There we go. Oh, he threw it right there. <laughs> I was going to swing him aboard. So, um, about a 17, 18 incher, so uh, we'll get back down and get another one. Hey there. Got another one. This one feels a little bit nicer. Still doing the same thing. Yeah, this one's got a little more shoulders on it. Get a look at it here. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna net this one. All right. 
about a 23 there, so a little nicer one than the last couple we got there. Uh, still doing the same thing using that uh, uh, 8 to 10 foot snell on that live bait rig. Get that girl back, nice one. small we, uh, the last few there so it was nice to get something a little bit bigger there we uh, it was so rough and windy we didn't film starting off first thing this morning it was windy and rough and even drizzling a little but our first fish was a 28 incher <laughs> this morning so um, hopefully we can get back and get something like that again hey we got another one here that this one feels like a little more shoulders on it See, it's gotten compared to this morning we had some wind it's flat calm out on us here now lots of flies around they'll probably be on the lens of the camera at some point yeah this might be a nicer fish here there's one today that's taken a nice long run like that Oh yeah, this is a nice one. I'm gonna grab the landing net. This is a little tricky with this 10 foot snell to guide him in there, but we'll get him in. There we go. Uh, not quite that 28 inch of my dad's this morning, but still a good fish. 24 or so. Stout, they're nice and stout. Got it hooked right in that corner out of the mouth there where we want. Look good in that skin. There, got it out. I'm gonna get a photo of that fish and then we'll let her go. Hey, you barely got that. 24 inch are released there. Four just are released. And the other one, this one doesn't feel too bad either. It's been hanging pretty heavy here. I haven't to move it much now. It's starting to move a little. Right. I'm going to come down here where the net is. A little more room to move around. Now I'm going to get that thing into the net. Alright, here we get the hemostat behind me here. Alright, we'll get a picture of this one and uh, we'll take a little film, let it go. Hey, my dad Nate's got one here. Still in that same area. Uh, Mid Lake Mud Flat. Ooh, nice one. I think we're gonna put the net under him here. We'll be back in a sec. in the last couple minutes here, but I got this one. That feels big as the last couple, but it's a walleye. Gotcha. 
swing him if I can get a hold of the line here with this long snail. There we go. Alright. Right in the tongue. Nice, so 18 incher there. You could keep fish. Uh, that'd be a good eater um, with all the harvest regulations and quotas and stuff and netting. Uh, it's catch and release only on Mille Lacs again this season. So, but good to see the fish fisheries healthy. We've got fish from 16 inches to 28 inches today. Uh, good group of these 16 to 18 inchers and another good group of 20 to 22 inchers that we've got today. So, that back and then I'm gonna show you something here. Um, I talked about this a little bit earlier about one of the refinements that we're doing on a live bait rig. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the reason we're going with this slip bottom bouncer system. Um, we're fishing either on top of these mid lake mud flats, they're called here on Mille Lacs, which are muck. They're like organic material, peat a little bit like, just gunky. Or we're fishing just the lake basin mud at the bottom edge. Uh, off the drop off of those. Either way, soft bottom, this uh, wire bottom bouncer, this tick, doesn't bury into that soft bottom. We can drop down and touch once in a while, make sure we're not there and not kick up a giant cloud of it, and then keep it up off the bottom and just check every once in a while we're staying close and we're not kicking up a lot of debris. Also, just this 10 inches here up to, um, once I've got it fed through, this 10 inches will keep the line this slide up off that bottom out of that muck more and help keep this swivel up out of the bottom more the, the barrel swivel on there uh, snap swivel which keeps everything cleaner and keeps that swivel turning and working if we're using just a little short lindy rig sinker like this we've got that line down getting into that muck and that mud all the time and the slide can get gunked up the barrel swivel can get gunked up and you're just going to have more tangles that way too so this just keeps everything up out of that soft bottom a little better Helps us catch more fish that way. Hey, okay, got another one here. We got a little bit of a rain shower starting here. The rain's been south of us all day, but some of it's starting to trickle up. So, nine radar here. That could be the end of our day. Uh, we caught a nice perch a minute ago, about a 11, 12 inch perch. And, uh, uh, smaller walleye. Ah, there. He threw it. Uh, about a 18, 19 incher. So um, we're gonna fish a little more here yet and see. It, it, I think it's just gonna be light rain, but if it gets too heavy, uh, we certainly can't complain about the day that we've had today. Uh, as long as we got the camera going, let's talk a little bit about the rest of the equipment we're using. Um, I'm using spinning gear. Uh, this is a uh, St. Croix Tournament Legend walleye, uh, seven foot, uh, medium light power, um, fast action. So you can see the tip, the bend is mainly at the tip, so it can handle heavier, like this is a three quarter ounce uh, weight here. Uh, I've got a Fluger uh, spinning reel on it. I've got that spooled with eight pound test Berkeley Nanofill, uh, which is uh, like a fire line, but it's round. It lays on a spinning reel nice and comes off nice. Uh, my dad's using bait casting gear today. Uh, he's using a six and a half foot uh, St. Croix. Um, Premier um, again with that fast tip, medium, medium or medium light power, uh, and then he's using a uh, Abu Garcia uh, spinning reel on there, and he is using a 10 pound test uh, Berkeley Fireline on that spinning reel, and then of course we're using uh, Berkeley Vanish as the leaders at the end uh, down by the hook. So uh, that rounds out the rest of the gear. We're fishing out of my Pro V this morning with the heavy wind. We were using the 99 uh, kicker to uh, kind of slip drift and back troll. And now with the light winds, we're using the Humminbird Minn Kota. We got the Minn Kota Altera up here and using that to move around, hit the anchor button when we catch fish um, to uh, play the fish out and then get back on track. All right, we got another one here. This one doesn't feel too bad. Making some runs, making a little big. Yeah. Too big. 
do need to make sure. Get it in without that in here. switched to a minnow for a while. I tried a different baits. It had slowed, it switched to a minnow. I caught a perch and missed a, I think, a walleye, and then that slowed and went back to the leech and now popped a couple walleyes in a row again. So today it seems like leeches, but it's a good idea to have all three, leeches, uh, minnows, and night crawlers with when you're live bait rig fishing for walleyes. And if one slows down, switch. If there's more than one in the boat, have one guy switch and then just see how it goes from there. But today they've really been wanting the leeches. Yeah, let's fish. All right, not a minute after getting a leech on after that last one. Got it down there and banged another one. Our weather's changing here a little bit. Our wind was, when it was strong this morning was northeast. Uh, then when it lightened up, it was more southeast and it got really humid and it was raining just south of us. Now we've got a few little sprinkles around us and our wind is getting north-northwest. Uh, Barometers dropping just a little bit, and boy, these things are starting to really turn back on there. They've been pretty steady all day, but this is definitely the, getting to be the fastest bike we've had now. I'm going to try to net this one. Oh, yeah, there's a nicer fish there. There's a 24 inch, that's a spawned out female, pretty skinny yet. Been late spring, late spawn here in Minnesota this year. So we're gonna get a still picture of this fish and then we will let it go and be back when we get another one. Hey, got one that feels all right here. Walleyes on my bait rigs, they all feel all right. Put that under this one. I think we're going to call it a day on this one. Been on the water for a while. And getting hungry for something other than a snack. Yeah, that's a nice fish to end on there. Spit the, oh, spit the bait out in the... Or no, he didn't. He still got it in there, but yeah. Nice, about a 20 inch or so there. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll end on that one. Hey, uh, we are going to call it a day here. Uh, just uh, going to head back for the landing. Um, we caught, uh, we figured, in the, probably about 40 to 45 walleyes today. Uh, pretty good range, size range. Our smallest one was about 16 inches. Our biggest one was 28 inches. And uh, probably the majority of our fish were between about 20 and 23, so nice fish. Uh, most of them on a leech. We did catch a 12 inch perch too. And uh, oh, I had on a 14 or 15 inch perch, one of the biggest perch I ever caught up to the side of the boat, but he threw the hook and came off. But uh, we're gonna call it a day. Let's lock it in our waypoint here and hope you learned a little something about fishing live bait rigs in uh, deep water uh, for walleyes and uh, occasional perch and other things too good luck and i'll see you out there somewhere